Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the ending for our beloved group of misfits. The magnum opus of James Gunn's gain of broken big hearted heroes. I could not imagine a more perfect ending to this trilogy. The most emotional Guardian story yet, I had tears strolling down my face the entire runtime and that is no exaggeration. The third film follows the Guardians as they journey to save their family. Rocket's story is at the forefront. I could not have handpicked a better character to follow along with as we witness the infamous trio through their final journey. The story's focus on Rocket was well done and well earned. I don't think I've seen a portrayal of childhood trauma quite like this. Every member of the Guardians has some aspect of trauma, but we never get to live in the mired memories of those past experiences, let alone revisit the locations where they occurred. The writing illuminates so much about who Rocket is and why all his relationships are tenuous and sarcastic. There are multiple moments of flashback Rocket that immediately send you to tears. Volume 3 amplifies those familial themes to the next level. Each character has grown tremendously from where we first saw them, and to see them finally functioning as a family is bittersweet. It has been a while since an MCU movie made me cry after I left the theater, but this one still has left a lasting effect on me. For most of these characters, we don't know if we will see them again, and as a fan, this not knowing holds its own emotional weight. To think that these characters, who became like your family, may never be seen again on screen, hands down the hardest I've cried since Endgame. The emotional weight of the plot itself has also never been better. By this point, the Guardians of the Galaxy have built such strong camaraderie that their expressions of fear and anger towards each other over putting themselves in danger feels authentic and super meaningful. For anyone hoping for pure, lighthearted fun, Volume 3 is going to disappoint. But one cannot overlook how refreshing it is to feel genuine emotion coming from an MCU project. When it started, it took me aback at first because we are so used to those humorous, flashy openings, but here the Guardians lead us on a somber tale. My real gripes are mostly nitpicky and at points, James Gunn toying with the audience can kind of get annoying, but beyond that, I don't have major issues. Flows really well, has one of my favorite MCU endings, a killer soundtrack with one of my favorite needle drops, and ultimately, the film ends up being a rewarding and roll-licking joyride. Everyone gets their time to shine, and it is beautiful and heartwarming. Mantis, Drax, Nebula, Peter, and Rocket all have story beats that perfectly close the doors to their stories if it is to be the last Guardian gathering. When it comes to a cohesive story for the MCU, this is by far the best trilogy. It's a personal, raucous, emotional run that makes us feel like we're part of one big dysfunctional family. Gunn knows that the simple earnestness of misfits finding family in each other is the key to the entire team of business. This is actually everything a blockbuster should be. In a time where it can be difficult to remember the delight of seeing a phenomenal Marvel movie for the first time, I'm incredibly grateful to James Gunn who has consistently pumped out all-timer quality content. What James Gunn has accomplished with this trilogy is nothing short of incredible. He made us fall in love with the weirdos, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Into the forever. That beautiful sky. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.